Welcome back, and if you missed the last episode, you missed a good one. Uh, every single one of our vassals rebelled. As in, well, not every single one of them. All of our ideal masters' vassals rebelled, which was like 98% of them. Uh, that took a long time. They had three times our men, so I had to hire a bunch of mercs. And so now we've gone from 8,000 gold to about 2,000 gold over the course of one episode. Um, it took me a very long time to redistribute all of the titles. I think I was thorough, but I may have missed a couple of ideal masters vassals hiding out but as you can see all of our top level vassals at least are elven we now have a complete oriel Cit uh, citadel cyrodiil um which is obviously really really good they all love me to bits as well because obviously we get the plus however many for they love me so much you can't even see all of the opinion modifiers there not that you can because i've got the thing up as well but i think we can safely tick off convert heathens from Aurang's many goals. One of our next goals, and one that I thought was impossible to do, is get a worthy heir. Now I thought we would never be able to do that, but then as I was looking through the employ menu while I was employing hundreds of different stewards, what I did notice is there's an option to uh, adopt an orphan of our culture, and I assume our religion as well. Just a random alien orphan. So I think we're absolutely going to do that. Um, if you look at this, adopt an orphan from the local orphanage to continue your dynasty. Let's do it. And it made them our child, our son. Adopted. This character has been adopted from an orphanage. So they carried the dynastic name of their adopted parent. They must live with the stigma of not being a true successor for the rest of their lives. They are uh, the ritual, which gives them health. That's pretty good. And alien. And they are an alien Oriel. That's really interesting. Um, but of course we can use magic on them as they grow out. We can cast spells to give them uh, the genetic traits that we would want a kid to have. So we might even be able to do that now, you know. Um, I didn't know if we had enough left after uh, 35 magic. We can actually do it whenever we want. didn't know if I had enough magic left after our uh, summoning so much Dramora. But let's go for... It doesn't really matter this early on. As long as... Sorry, I'm focusing on the ideal master's worship faith. Uh, that must be a bug. Let's ignore that. Um, oh, maybe it's because our capital is... Or maybe his educator? Yeah, his educator is... Uh, this dude who we really don't want. Uh, let's have a look. Minus was core educator, I think it is. Wow, that was close. Um, I can't see it. Am I blind? Court Mage, Court Dwarf, Court Painter, all these important jobs. Court Tutor, there we are. Right, let's kick you out. And let's see what we've got. Probably someone with a high learning. Wow, this person is perfect. Look at that. Magister of Alterod Necromancer, which is, you know, fine. Shrewd, 26 learning more to the point. And also, more importantly, a Master Mage. And that's exactly what we want our son to be. We want to take, or, or our adopted son, I suppose. We want them to take on... Our uh, our legacy of being a mage. Obviously, we're everything else as well. I wonder if we could gift them the Ogmer Infinium. And whether or not they would use it properly. Maybe that's something we need to do before... Just get, give this character... Make sure they have the Ogmer Infinium. So that uh, if we die at any point, we can immediately make this character immortal and have all those good traits. Let's uh, take... What's the best trait this early on? I think they give learning predominantly. Zealous, erudite, or frail. Now, frail is really bad. We could cast magic to fix it. Uh, conscientious, diligent, or temperate. Those are both pretty good traits. Curiate. Curiate. Curious gives shrewd, cynical, sympathy for other religions. Plus, he gives patient, greedy, paranoid. Okay. Proud, arbitrary, cruel. Those are pretty much all bad. Just, wrath, envious. Those are pretty bad as well. We we're not interested in Marshall. Um... Gregarious, deceitful, lunatic, charitable, slothful, gluttonous. I think we're going to go for thrift. Just because shrewd out of all of these traits would be incredibly good. And its educator has true shrewd. The way the education system works in CK2 is that you're more likely to pick up traits that your educator has. So this weird bug-eyed guy will hopefully give our son shrewd. Let's hope. We have a new heir. That's the first time I think we've seen that. Besides, well, since uh, churn milk and 
magical keys were unfortunately taken from us too early. All right, we can rank up in the Greybeards. This is cool. I wonder how far we can take the way of the voice. Well, that gives us plus 1.5 health. Wow. A same religion opinion plus 15. Shit. So I imagine all the elves really love us at this stage. Uh, Treasure Melodious Voice, Legendary Diplomat. Can we see... Follower of the Way, plus 10. Oh, it counts as... Wait. Follower of the Way, plus 10, same religion. It's not just because she's a member of the, the Way of the Voice, is it? No, no, no. It's, it's any Ultima. That's good. Okay. Or, or any, uh... Oriel Watch, probably, I should say. I'm not sure whether or not I want to take Eleanor yet. I'm not entirely convinced it's uh, it's worth us just vassalizing it. I think I'd like to have some independent promises around so it, so it keeps the game, you know, fresh. We don't want to be the, the ruler of everything. It might be worth doing maybe an Inquisition to Pyridonia, converting them away from the worship of Orgman. Org Orgnum? That's hard to say. Uh, stop them worshipping Orgnum and instead have them worshipping Oriel. If we can do that, that would be, that'd be quite good to do. Uh, sure, you two can marry. I don't know who either of you are. And we're going to turn on auto-stop plots again now. Because I really don't care about what my vassals are up to. They all love us. I very much doubt we're the target of any of these. Somebody wants to break some of my prisoners out there. Oh, prefer to steal an artifact from this woman in my prison. What's she got? They're trying to steal her horse? I don't care about our horse. So yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with all these prisoners as well. I assume we're just going to chuck them at the next Deidre we go for. Speaking of which, I think it's time. Why don't we go for... We, we've done Molo Bell and Mayron's Dagon, haven't we? We can always just check our artifacts. We've got Mayron's Razor, and we do have the Mace of Molo Bell. What about Meridia? Because we did have some comments saying that Meridia was... Almost like that, that a saint revered by... The, uh, I say the patron saint of the Aliens. So I think if we find someone who worships Meridia and maybe marry them and secretly convert to Meridia. Let's see what we've got. Of course, one of the best things coming out with the next CK2 uh, expansion is the ability to more or less make your own religion. That would be something very cool for, for this. I'm thinking we could make an, uh, specifically an Aliad religion where worshipping Meridia and some of the other that were worshipped by the Aeliad, we, we can make that part of the religion, rather than uh, there we are Meridia right, let's see what we've got here uh, you are an unmarried female Argonian, sure well that was easier than I thought is there a particularly strong cult of Meridia somewhere? let's have a look uh, religion. The amount of times I've tried to click. Yeah, look. This whole problem. Oh, no, wait. Close of Cult of Amina? Cult of... Oh, no. What is this? The army of the wretched have moved into Argonia. Right. Okay. It's probably where these provinces in... Uh, in elsewhere have started to push them down. Like, our vassals have taken a few provinces. We've got, like, Argolis there. Parandor. Ohms. Oh, that's part of Aelamwood. But where they're starting to be pushed out looks like they're moving across the way. We really need to sh stop them as quick as we can. So I think we worship Meridia. Okay, this works on a lot of levels. Worship Meridia. Meridia hates the undead. We use Meridia to send a Diedrich invasion after the undead. And we can also hopefully chuck Meridia all of these prisoners. If not, it's not a big deal. Um, but what we need to do now is kill our wife who is only alive because of a save game error. So let's get rid of you. My coconut spirit. Wow, that was fucking quick. It's like there was someone behind her, ready to push her. We are now promoted to Master of the Way. And there is our new wife. Let's favorite her. She's clueless. Okay, hopefully we can get away with it this time. Oh, what? She died of a poor diet immediately? Oh, jeez. Okay, right. Search all. Who have we got then? Um... Are you female? You are. You did have a husband. Let's invite you to court. Hopefully this one won't die. I'm favorite. Okay, we're going to blow up our wife with manure. Failure. Damn. We're not going to be able to kill her this time, are we? 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dismiss this because we don't need to see it. We can push claims on what exactly? Oh, this is part of Valen Wood. Hmm, okay. Uh, we're not kidnapping anyone. Stop sending me plots. Good lord. Uh, okay, we're going to blow her up again. Sure. Oh, no. Complicity was revealed. So certain uh, plots actually have a higher chance of succeeding. Manure is one of the lowest ones. Is that... Oh, our new wife died of typhoid fever. I was just about to say, the snake is one of the highest events that succeed. So, that's pretty lucky. Alright, cult of Meridia. I should sort by probably women. Oh, God. Let's ruin it. Um, here we are. Right. Malakath. And A. Uh, uh, excuse me? Oh, it's in reverse alphabetical order. Thank God for that. Meridia. Let's see. Alright. Let's invite you. I should probably stop inviting them until my wife is dead. Because honestly, let's try and assassinate her. The Dark Brotherhood. 300 gold. Done. Because whenever they turn up, they seem to die. Okay, the Dark... Wait, the Dark Brotherhood failed to kill her? And she just killed someone else in personal combat. Good God. Uh, try the Dark Brotherhood again. Failed in their attempt. What is happening? Oh, there we go. Okay, she died with wine. Of all the things. Dark Brotherhood failed. Manure failed. Right, so if we go arrange marriage between myself and... There she is. Alright, we're losing prestige. Doesn't matter. Secretly converts to Cult of Meridia. There we go. Perfect. And then uh, you could disappear as well. I really don't care about you. If we're going to marry anyone, we marry someone for good stats at this stage. Because obviously we can't have an heir. So, oh no. Suddenly we've inherited a load of land. Why is that? Oh, it's not that we've inherited land. It's our wife was giving us the... Uh, well, we have inherited some land. But our wife was also giving us uh, the stewardship we needed to hold all our lands anyway. It's a little bit annoying. Okay. Search around. And load my religion, my culture. Get this way now. There you go. Can have... What was it? Senalana? There you go. Enjoy that. We're just... We're perfectly at 7 out of 7 unmarried, so... That's fine. Let's go ahead and marry someone for stats now. Uh, let's have a look. Who have we got? There's 17 stewardship there. 21 diplomacy. Uh, sure, we'll go with you. Invite to court. 10% um, chance of getting incapable. Or we take depressed and celibate. I'm not risking that 10% chance. We could probably regenerate our body though. Sure, why not? Okay, we didn't get it anyway, thank God. Alright, and we're going to marry you because you've got really good stats. There we go. Alright, that's good. So now we're part of Meridia. Let's... Oh, God. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We can offer up undead prisoners to her. Right. Well, that's an interesting way of doing that. Let's have a look and see what artifacts we can send to start off with. Um... The Remenada we don't want. The Spirit of Nern we don't want. The Records of Joran. I, I don't know who you are. But alright. So we've got some books to uh, give Meridia to start off with. So let's do that. Uh, offer an artifact. You can have... But you can have that copper ring. Don't worry about it. Uh, you can have the Records of Joran. Because we don't even know who Joran is. Gods and Worship in Tamriel. I'm really not interested in that. Basically anything we don't have equipped that aren't that don't have passive effects. So you can have this, you can have all the rings because we are at maximum Unless they're ebony or better, I suppose, but no, they're, they're silver. Let's get rid of that. Have we got anything else? Where's Guide to Better Thieving? As I recall that was okay, but we're not using it. Just get rid of it. Spell drink your amulet was was alright, but again, still not better than the one we've got right now. Flawless or superior? Here comes the superior one. They're both the same and we've got that one equipped, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can have this book by Delata as well. That was worth almost nothing. Wow. Skull Trophy is going to give us passive prestige, so we'll keep those. 
What can we get? Oh. Call out Meridia to expose and purge the undead menace with a burst of purifying energy. You and all sub round characters will be caught in the blast, weakening undead characters caught in it. Secret vampires will be publicly outed as a result of her actions. Interesting. We also have Dawnbreaker. Now, Dawnbreaker will definitely use um, when we attack when we attack the army of the wretched. Should we do this? We'll, we'll do this uh, blast though, the pain of the undead. It's only a thousand armor. Pulse of energy, the color of sunfire erupted from Meridia's shrine. The foul curse of undeath is an insult to the mortal and to the divine. And so it must be duly and ruthlessly rooted out, striking against them soon while they cower in their weakness. So here we are, we've got vampires are revealed. Are they made infirm? Okay, we've got vampires. This person's ideal masters, which I assume is why this person was brought to light. Another vampire. Uh, who are you? We've got this guy here. Follower of Lorcan. An outsider. Khajiit outsider, sure. Purifying light will cleanse all. A great bane of the undead. Wow. Health minus one. And all their stats are debuffed and their personal combat is down. Thank you. That was very useful. I like that. I wonder if we get... What, what passive buffs do we get with Meridia as well? You are charitable. You are just. So she wants us to be a good ruler, really. Um, charitable, humble, just. We could switch. Oh, no. We, we wanted to build the observatory, right? So let's do that. So what are our goals for this episode? Let's just recap. So we've got, a, uh, we've got an heir. They're not necessarily worthy, but hopefully they will be soon. We can actually educate them now. So let's educate them ourselves. Those six years went by damn fast. All right. Let's do that. What did they get? Fussy, which can lead to patient greedy or paranoid. Eh, it's not it's not great, but it's fine. We've got full control of the traits now. So, uh, the Amulet of Kings. Obviously, I'm still waiting for some feedback on that um, before I kick that off. That will be tomorrow's episode will be whether or not we do do that or whether or not we go a different route. Get Dragon Blood. Again, oh, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Killing the Dragon Bomb, right? That's what we'll do. So... This episode, we're going to educate our son, kill the dragonborn. Perfect. And also, hopefully build an observatory if we can do that. What do we need for that? Right, it's still construction level 4. How close are we? We're actually really, really close. So we'll be able to do the whole scholarship event, hopefully in this episode as well. Merge his troops. 2445. Can we actually get a retinue at all? We can. I'm thinking we build nothing but battle mages. How expensive will that be, though? Well, we are making 53 gold a month, so... Oops! Damn it. Really, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. We don't want them using up our retinue cap. Fortunately, they didn't reinforce at all, so we haven't got anything to worry about. So, 1,600 battle mages. I think that's pretty good. Plus, obviously, us being a mage is going to... Uh... I like that he puts on his armor when he's not leading troops. I don't know if you caught that then. Very weird. Okay. So, now we've got Meridia. We've done a Blast of the Undead. These guys are probably shitting themselves a little bit. Yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. They're looking to take back Riverhold. Oh, this is a revolt against them. Right. We've still got this uh, library event going on. Let's have a look at the marketplace event. She purchased a mount, purchased a pet. Oh, a mount died, didn't it? The Argonian Shellback died during the war. Um. Yeah, it actually did. Okay. So let's go ahead and purchase a new one. So, Colovian Distria. I hope I pronounced that right. It's 200 gold, so I'll assume that's the best one. Um, purchase a pet. We've already got a dog, so no. You know what? We don't need that. Search party is for the Amulet of Kings, so I won't be doing that one. Um, because of the Guild Hall, what would that do for us? Not a huge amount. We can just accept minor quests? Sure. Why not? Let's do some minor quests for the uh, for the Greybeards. So we got our other decisions. All right, that's it then. So this is it in the marketplace. Really doesn't do much besides uh, starting the library event and purchasing some pets. Let's have a look at this mount that we got as well. Okay, well that's really good. March plus four, health plus zero point four five, personal combat skill. Yeah, no, that's that's really good. All right, and let's have a look at the Greybeards. Oh, we're having a banquet. Why not? 
Who is this? My f my friend. Uh, she's Ideal Masters though. Not a fan of that. No, you can leave. Goodbye, friend. We don't trust you people here. What well, made her happy? I invited her to a banquet to ask her to leave. That seems fine. All right. How close are we to that construction level? It'll be a couple more months. I wonder how long this event lasts. It just seems to be constantly buffing up our stats. And we want to be hunting down the Dragonborn as well, of course. I almost forgot. Teach me to be a pious man. Right, let's go find this Dragonborn and kill them off in the hopes that we can become Dragonborn. And obviously, if we become Dragonborn, we don't even need the Amulet of Kings. It'd be still nice to get, but... Dragonborn, is it still the same one? Oh, there isn't any right now? Really? Uh, doesn't look like it. We got dragon blood. Which means her, probably her father was a dragonborn or a mother. God knows. Uh, yeah, it seems like that is the only relevant... I'm just being thorough with this because the, uh, uh, the trait finder isn't known for being... Yeah, because if I type in dragon, dragon space blood, okay. But none of them have the trait dragon blood though. Useless. All right. Dragon born. Well, let's just assume there aren't any. And hope for the best. We could still become Dragonborn. I doubt it, but it's possible. Um, what do we have proof that... No, keep this information to myself. We don't need enemies. He's a good vassal. Look at him. He's got really good stats. He's got a great opinion of me. You've converted someone. Right, we need to go back to proselytizing. Oh, good God. What a mess this is. Um, let's start work... I suppose there. I didn't mean to go for there, but it doesn't matter. Um, sure, you can be on the council. You're pretty good. So we haven't got to worry about the Dragonborn. So we can get rid of our, our goals again. And we got to keep an eye on our air. We haven't had any events yet. Then again, he's only eight, so we'll let him off. That's some time tick. Oh, great. Okay, hang on. Construction level four. That was exactly what we were after. Um, what did we just inherit? A duchy? Oh, right. This whole thing. I, I assume you're all uh, above board. Uh, excuse me. Sir, we have to ask you to leave. I thought I might have missed a couple, so this isn't much of a surprise. Okay. Uh, right, so that is everything now. Aliad. Okay, your stats sound great, though, are they? Ooh, you're 20. What? Wow. Yeah, no, you can have this. Oh, what is it? Uh, there we are. You are a good vassal. I'm, I'm glad I uh, double-checked that before giving it away. So now, we start work on the observatory. So what do we need for that? We need separate wards 3 pharmacology lab. So we'll go for separate wards 3 there. And oversee construction. Do we not have a better steward? Oh, yeah, we have a much better steward. Sorry. Feel sacked. And that's going to speed up. Oh, that's doubling our build time. That's great. And Vindicel have rebuilt their uh, trade post. Obviously, all the trade posts were taken away when I revoked the title of the Merchant Republic. So, what unique buildings have we got? Uh, nothing actually in the White Gold Tower. Oh, sorry. This is the city of White Gold, isn't it? I'm going to name that White Gold City so I stop getting confused. Right. That should help out. Yeah, White Gold Tower, capital. Um, so anything really goes here. Levy size plus 10%. Always a good one. Six days. Wow. <laughs> All right. I won't complain. Um, Garrison plus 10% is pretty good. Elite Guardian Barracks plus 25 Battle Majors. That will add up over time. Uh, let's just upgrade the base buildings. Why not? Give us more options. So we're at the Temple of the One. Oh, of course, it's a holy site. Well, that's useful. Let's give an extra 10% to uh, Oriel there. So what have we got there? So this is the last one we need. Where is that? Oh, God, that's miles away. I was going to say, it being a Kaji, I wouldn't mind going on a crusade into elsewhere for that, but I guess not. Okay, what else can we build? Uh, what was it? Temple of the Ancestors, I should say, rather than Temple of the One. Um, just a lot of different towers for 
mage? What's an arch mage compared to a battle mage? Is that a special unit? You know what? Let's build one and see if we get an Archmage out of it. See what they actually do. Uh, the Tower of Mysticism. Why not? And if we got any unique buildings here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, Economy Tech Points plus one. That's pretty great. We'll go for that. Deep in meditation, I reflect on Jürgen Winkler's victory over the 17 disputants. Though they wielded might, Jürgen Winkler wielded truth. And the way of the voice triumphed over all opposition. This is straight deceitful. That's probably pretty good. Um, I also wouldn't mind, I suppose, building some things here, because that also directly feeds into our tax income. So what else do we need? Pharmacology laboratory. Oh, we've completely run out of gold. Holy shit. Wow. Um, so what was it? It was... Well, we're definitely going to build that, even if we don't necessarily need it for the observatory. Wow. The, some of these... What have we got that's speeding up our build time so much? So that's... So the infrastructure is uh, reducing build time by 15%. Oh, God. Local tax minus 15% as well. God. That's huge. All right. So last one we need is the pharmacology. Pharmacology laboratory. That's really hard to say in a hurry. Okay. Now just the observatory and hopefully we can start the event. Oh, it's probably this damn library now I think about it. They probably have thousands of gold out of this. Um, let's go for magical training. Oh, we can actually go twice into that. Oh, I, d I do normally just go entirely into military organization, but I don't mind dishing them out a bit more evenly. Let's go for tolerance to get that religion buff. All right, we've got Miss Karkin. I want to give that out. Where's Miss Karkin? It's here, isn't it? Uh, Kavach? Sure. Seems to make sense, the whole duchy going back to Kavach. There you go. Alright, I think we've got enough now, haven't we? And observatory. Finally. I won't spend another drake in this dust heap. Is that I, I think that's probably the end of the uh, event chain in that case. Um, can we still not use observatory? Why not? Maybe we've already done the event chain. I'm going crazy. We'll keep the information. Okay, my mistake then. I guess we've already done it. It doesn't matter too much because they're worth an incredible amount of tech points. Um, what else can we get? Economy tech points there plus four. We're just going to focus on building up the hospital right now. It's going to help out a huge amount. Lost a trait, lustful and hedonist. Not that it matters because we're... We can't have kids ever. Speaking of which, let's have a look at how our air is doing. Idolizer, that's pretty good. If we get zealous out of it. Curious is very good because that's the one that gives us shrewd. Um, so after... How long have we got? Oh, first seed. So we've got to wait a couple more months. I'm sure I don't mind spending money on my physician. A couple more months, and we can start formally educating him. Oh, we're getting the trait scholar. That's really good. Okay. We are going to go for learning education. He did get idolizer, so this works out quite well, and this is also going to make him into a mage. I think he's going to come out pretty well. Let's go ahead and introduce him to the realm. So what this event does is it will allow you to exchange favors of gold in exchange for additional education traits. So, for example, this guy is going to give us uh, one learning in exchange for a favor. And absolutely we will. We want to buff up this kid as well as we can. People are impressed by him. That's good. And he became close friends with this person here, one of my Duke's children. Well, that's okay. That's fine. Time for this nonsense. Infatuated by this random elf. Sure. This kid is a disaster. Oh no. Mixed response. Hey, that's pretty good. Prince Feluthismir. Feluthismir? Sure. Again, groomed to perfection. Uh, for the next how many, many years? 20 years. Wow. He gains 0.5 prestige and plus 4 vassal opinion. Sweet. And I imagine when he comes of age, he'll probably want some land of his own. So next time we get a duchy, next time we inherit one, we'll save it for the him. Uh, we will also restrict his marriage. Marshall is covered in man of military talent. Sure. So we'll wait until he comes of age in this episode just to see 
whether or not we do get a decent air for once. Oh, great. Ideal Master's Revolt. Wow. And we will call in all allies, and I assume they'll accept. Oh, sorry, we've got hired troops? And vassal troops? Weird. All right. Send in the men. We will lead our own armies. Damn, we have some pretty good commanders. 57, 26, 18. Even with 18, they're considered a masterful commander, so... Well, that was easy. Good battle. Good battle. All right, let's move back. Um, I'm not imprisoning anyone. Look, everything's set the way we need it to. Last time I tried to imprison people. Okay, well, that was coincidence. Seeing as we've uh, already got men there. Easy. Of all the things I was expecting, a Riddle Thar uprising was not one of them. Well, our vassals have really like moved into the Army of the Wretched territory, haven't they? Still, we want to save up for that Deidre Convention. The issue is they just don't have many men. And I don't know why. They've got 20 Marshal. Oh, they are a theocracy. Maybe that has something to do with it? Interesting. Okay, maybe they've got... What I'm thinking is maybe under their realm laws, under their obligations, they might have something like tax shifted church obligations which normally is a good thing but when you've only got church vassals you're sort of limited speaking of which let's make the church pay all right and who's the head of our religion right now do we even have a religious head this guy here art curator narwindel and i see me yeah he's in the somerset isles that's a bit of a shame we can order him to join the graybeards why? Who knows? Is he now in the Greybeards? Is that is that how that works? Uh, member list. So these are the uh, are these the masters, yeah. Oh no, wait, there are there are more down here. Wow, there's actually a lot of Greybeards. I assume we will be at the bottom. Yeah, there he is. Wow. Why can I just order random? Wait, hang on. No, I can't order him. Funnily enough. Maybe it's people of the same religion? No, I can order this guy to join the Mercantile Guild. Why? Who knows? That's obviously a bug. Well, never mind. Okay. We want our son to, uh... I was going to say evolve, but that's obviously not the right word. We want him to uh, grow up during this episode. Paranoid follower of Mara. Okay, well, fertility is fine. We do want our house to continue. Obviously, if we can find a way to get a non-adopted son, that would be better. Not that I, obviously you know he's he's great he's our he's our lovely son oh god I hate this event so much do we want him to go ambitious but also want to try and kill us we'll do that and then I'm going to switch focus to family focus now that has a chance of removing the uh, rival trait he still likes us but he will still also plot against us okay he became zealous that's good oh Meridia is gazing inwards never mind. What are we going to do? How are we going to get 25,000 Arda? It just seems impossible. Um, I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> Emperor Demis the Jolly Dramora. Wow. So jolly, he's depressed. Brilliant. I mean, we could keep going to the marketplace uh, and buying pets for her. Can we just keep doing that? We could just keep doing that. And essentially what we're doing here is we're converting gold into ardor. It does seem a bit... Um, does seem a bit cheap, I suppose. I wonder if they're worth more relative. Let, let's have a look. So, we know that... Oh, look. They've actually all got separate uh, artifact symbols now. Look at that. Pure Warhound... Braville Retriever, Markarth Bear Dog. That's cool. Shame they haven't done, you know, some of the main artifacts, like the Mask of Clavic as well, but never mind. Let's see if then we offer her... What was it? The uh, the Imperial Warhounds gave 250. Okay, so they're the same price and they give the same... Uh, they give the same ardor. 
But what we can do is we can guarantee that we're going to get the maximum every single time by buying just a shit ton of horses to send to her. Let's go ahead and send all these dogs. Uh, have a wolf. There you go. Maybe this is something I do off camera because... I was saying that we've only got a certain amount of gold. We are limited by the amount of gold we've got. So it's not like we're... Uh, it's not like it's something that's going to take a huge amount of time. And I'd prefer everyone saying that I did it legit. Seeing as it's a pretty ridiculous thing to try and do. Um, right, there we go. Okay. So we just need to buy horses constantly. To give to Meridia. <laughs> Alright. Um, so we always want to get these ones because they're the most expensive. Oh, you can only purchase one mount at a time. That's a problem because it means we'd have to buy a mount, send a mount, buy a mount. It's a little less convenient. Um, either way, we're already at 6,000 now at the 25,000, so that's fine. Okay, we'll just passively buy pets over time. How old is our son? Like, he's taking off his armor to lead armies again. I don't know why you keep doing that. Finishes. Oh, wow, speaking of which, finishes education. He's a master mage. He actually came out alright, and he did get shrewd. Wow. Shrewd, paranoid, ambitious, zealous, alien. That's fine. Rival, obviously very annoying. But, uh, not too bad. We can have him join the Mages Guild, so let's do that. And we groomed an heir successfully. Wow. Can we adopt another child? Is that just something we can keep doing? Um, let's have a look. What was it? It was, uh, employment, right? I need to employ a son. Let's have a look. Adopt an orphan. Uh, so it, our, our heir has to be of a different dynasty. Right, I see. So that's the... We can only do that again if our current heir dies. I was going to say, if not, we could just keep training up heirs, seeing until uh, we get one that we'd prefer and then killing off the others. Not that we would ever do anything like that, but there we go. So, we can safely tick off get worthy air and convert heathens now so now we have the hardest jobs we have get dragon blood or get the amulet of kings now the event i've pre-programmed like i've talk talked about before is quite a long event and there is a chance we could fail it there is also a chance that it's not going to give us what we're looking for straight away it ca could take potentially years i thought that's probably the only way to balance it but i mean we are supposed to have it anyway because there's just a bug in the game preventing us from getting it Give me some feedback, and we'll sort that out also. What is happening here? Velothi? The Elm Civi? Huh. Well, that's something to sort out next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe, do whatever. Um, the multiplayer series for Geheimnis Nacht, if it is not already uploaded, will be up soon. Uh, I know we're recording this weekend, so that being the 9th and 10th of June, and then we're going to slowly upload those. Uh, over the next couple of weeks, I think. Because, you know, it's a multiplayer game, so we've got to record when we can. And that should be good. We've got a plan, but I won't spoil it. Stay tuned for that.